Jasmine. I am Brittany and I am AWAR's Aboriginal Health Promotion Worker. Uh, today I'll be taking you through a bit of a demonstration on how to make a Coles online order. Um, and this is especially for those that um, are having to self-isolate at home after being tested. So I'm just going to share my screen with you now. And what we want to do is firstly go to Coles Online um, in Google. Once you are in, you will need to go to this side tab here and it will say log in or sign up. If you've never created an account with Coles Online before, you will need to go to new to Coles Online, sign up instead. When clicking on that, you'll need to add in your email address, first name, last name. Um, you'll need to create a password for your account. Um, put in the suburb or postcode of which Coles um, your, is in your area. Uh, you'll need to also pop a mobile number in and also your date of birth. Once you've done this, you'll then start shopping by clicking this button. In this instance, I'm going to, in this demonstration, sorry, I'm going to log in to my account that I've already created for this demonstration. And to get started, um, you will go to the search bar up the top and this will be where you put in or you can search for all the products that you might need. So I'm going to put in uh, milk and I'm going to grab myself um, some full cream milk and by adding it to the cart you just press on this button here and it'll add it over to your cart which is located on the right hand side of the screen. Um, Bread. So you can scroll down until you find the type of bread that you like. So in this demonstration, I'm going to pop in some Abbott's bread. You can also, once deleting that out of the search bar, um, you can click on specials and it will take you through the weekly specials that Coles have on for the week. Um, so here I'm going to add in some shampoo and conditioner because I'm running low. And then I'm going to grab myself some spaghetti bolognese sauce. Uh, just add the one for $1.50, uh, sorry, $3.50. Then I'm going to keep shopping. I'm going to search up the top here, mint, to go with my spaghetti bolognese sauce. And I'm just going to grab one of those kilos. And I will let you know, um, you must have a minimum of $50 to spend um, if you wanting it to be delivered. Uh, go back to specials. And I'm going to pop in some dog food. Two for $3.90 and some soda water as well and I might grab myself some moisturizing body wash. So now you can see to your right hand side on the tab um, I've hit the $50 mark so I'm going to and that's all and I've finished shopping I'm going to click on that button and go to proceed to check out. Once I've clicked on that it will take me to uh, page which is confirming your order. So here you will have a list of all the items that you've clicked and that are in your trolley. Uh, in this column, you will have your delivery address. If it's not the correct delivery address, you can go in and change it by clicking the change button here. Um, and also you can have the option of having a certain day and time it to be delivered. So if I click on the change button, it will allow me to change it to tomorrow or Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so on. Just say I'm going to get it delivered on Thursday. I've got an option of choosing when it can be delivered. So I can either choose it in the morning, afternoon or evening. In this instance, I'm going to choose between 8 and 12 p.m. and I'm going to have it left unattended. In this uh, instance, if you're self-isolating at home, 
um, you want it to be contact contactless delivery. Um, so you choose this option and also um, if you're wanting your bags, if you're wanting it bagged, then click this button as well. Once you've done that, press continue. And the next thing you'll need to do is your payment. So um, how you would like to pay, so you click on which you would be preferred. So your credit card or debit or PayPal account. Once you've done that, you'll click in add a new credit card or debit card. And then once you've filled the details in there, you will then click the I have read and understood the customer agreement. And once that box is ticked, you'll then press complete order. And then your order will be complete and on its way. So thank you for listening to my demonstration today on how to make an online calls delivery.